I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I didn't just take like over a month off of YouTube. I'm not just gonna pretend that that didn't just happen. But um, let's talk about that either at the end or in another video. I'm like to the point where I don't even know how to talk to the camera anymore. <laughs> but because I left you guys dry and hanging for so long, I'm here with a bang. I'm here with a classic Emily Lee video. For my classic viewers, for the ones that me and you go way back, this one is for you. And if you found me through Instagram and now you're here on YouTube, welcome to my craziness. <laughs> I'm actually nervous as fuck. I am nervous as fuck. I'm really fucking nervous. We should see what we're working with. Am I really gonna do this? Like, I literally still don't know if I'm actually gonna do this because I'm nervous. This is very dead. The least that we're gonna do today is cut off this part because, like, it's not working for me anymore. I don't feel cute with it, okay? Look how long my hair is. I have been growing out a buzz cut since 2019 and that was really like the start of my spiritual and healing journey so I always looked at my hair growth as like wow this is how long I've been on my journey so I always thought it was like this positive thing but now I feel like I have like been elevated to a different journey <laughs> This is gonna sound crazy. So all the people wondering, is Emily still spiritual? Yeah, if anything, <laughs> a little more. I feel like I am done with this journey and now I'm ready to embark on a more intense spiritual journey. The girls who get it, get it, and the girls who don't, don't. You don't have to get it. You don't even have to want to get it. You can think I'm crazy and we're all gonna still be happy. I don't care. Anyways, this is, this is how much hair I have on my head. I'm fucking scared, guys. I'm fucking terrified right now like am i really gonna do this i'm fucking nervous i'm fucking nervous oh my god oh it feels like i'm talking to an old friend right now emily lee is coming back on youtube in 2023 that's what i want to say my content might be a little different and i might be faded all the time but at least i'm being honest i've been feeling so much dead weight lately like i don't know what it is i can't even create anything like i've been trying to make music for like a month and like i just can't the past week i've been so unmotivated like the other day i was just like cleaning off all of the dead leaves on my plants that i've neglected because my mental health was a little bit shitty and it just made me think how like my hair is kind of like the dead leaves <laughs> like it needs to go this is like dead weight I just want a refresh. I want to feel brand new and cute. Oh, by the way, I have like a spray bottle comb, scrunchies, I have clippers. I'm gonna put this in ponytails. Once I do this, like I literally can't go back though. Okay, I shaved my head before. This shouldn't be as scary as it feels. Oh my God. Am I literally gonna have a breakdown? Am I having a breakdown? No. I have to say, the first time I shaved my head, it was for fashion and for vibes. Second time I shaved my head, that one was a breakdown. Everyone questioned the first one, but it was the second. Gotta keep them on their toes. And now look, I'm not even having a breakdown. I just want short hair for the fashion again, because I've healed. You see, the girls who really get it and the girls who don't, don't. If you're connecting all the dots like I am, you get me. Am I really gonna do this? Guys, wait, I'm actually... Oh god, I'm nervous. It's like once I do it, I like, can't go back. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> my hair is thick as fuck. Will it ever end? <gasps> beating so fast but i am so happy oh my god I like i'm in shock i'm like petting it <laughs> i look so pretty right okay 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 i can't believe i actually did that shit i cannot believe i actually did that I cannot believe i actually did that well i have to do the other side i'm scared Oh, 
This is crazy. I should save it to do like a cool look and attach. No, that's weird. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Wait, I look so pretty like this. Obviously, it's uneven, but like a bob. Wait. Wait. Now we have to figure out, do I want to commit to all of this short or do I want a bob? But this needs a lot of work. Damn, I really fucked up on this side. <laughs> nobody watched this video. Like literally nobody watched this video. Please, like I'm begging you for nobody to watch this video. Low key, I feel like this length it's giving triangle. Nobody used this video as a tutorial. I'm literally just doing whatever I feel like. I'm just trying to make the sides match. The back probably looks like shit. The back does look like shit. Mm. Layers. I could I could do layers. <coughs> My ass is not gonna do layers, I'm sorry. What I will do though is fix this. All right, all right, let's fix the bottom. I really like, I don't know what point I was trying to prove. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Yeah, I think I really have to just like go in the shower and wash my hands. Guys. Guys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Oh. <laughs> don't I look so cute? I still need to fix it. <laughs> This length is kind of amazing because I can still do like the slick that I liked with like the little waves and then just have like a little, little cute moment. But then I could also kind of like wear it cool, bob. <laughs> okay, but we really need to fix this. Like I actually really need to fix this. I feel like I can style this haircut in a million ways. I think right now I'm gonna do like a very simple blowout, but I also can do like my curly hair routine. Also, I literally have all of my natural hair right now. None of this hair has been processed with any bleach, dye, toner, anything. I could also do like little styles and like low key, I think I still could put a ponytail extension. That's major, like I love a switch up. Oh my god, I feel like really happy, like a weight has been literally lifted off of my shoulders, like literally, literally. Oh my god, I'm gonna use this, let's do it. I cannot believe that this is my hair. I feel so much lighter. Like I literally feel like a weight has been lifted. I am so happy with it. It's literally not perfect and that is fine. I have not had like a perfect haircut in probably like eight years. So it doesn't even matter to me. I feel like I can style it in so many different ways. This way is like very cute and chic. I have been feeling very mature lately, very grown up. It's like so weird. It's like, I feel like I'm like meant to have this hair. I feel like why did I have long hair for all of that time? Why was I carrying that hair around for so long? I feel like I was like holding on to this like beauty standard or something. I feel so cute. I feel like I look like such a bad bitch. And this is like a new era. I'm in shock. I like can't believe that I cut it. I literally can't believe that. It's literally a new era. I, I need you guys to know this, that this is a new era. But I don't know. There's not much that I could say. Like I literally love the hair so much. Like. I don't regret it at all. It almost feels like this is just meant to be. Like, I literally just feel like this is what was meant to happen today. And I trusted the universe's plans for me. And I lived in the moment. Good for me. I'm proud of this decision. But oh my god, I should talk about why I took a break on YouTube and just like, what is going on? 
with my life. I definitely want to do a video where I'm talking more in depth about everything. So I don't know how much I'm going to say right now. But basically, guys, I've been doing YouTube since I was like 15 years old. <laughs> I'm 24 now. When I was like 17, it became my full-time job. And it was probably my full-time job until 2020. Until I got like really depressed. So I was working full-time YouTube. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five, six years of me doing YouTube full-time on my other YouTube channel. Which I have my YouTube plaque, if you didn't know. If you guys don't know anything about me, you're going to be so confused. But this update, I guess, is not for you. It is for my viewers on YouTube who have been like, what? the fuck so yeah i was doing that for a really long time and then when i was depressed my income was still youtube because that was my job things just got really weird and then i didn't feel passionate about it and then i got burnt out and then like honestly it sounds harsh but it's like i've been doing this for a really long time <laughs> like a really long time so i was at the point where i was gonna find another job regardless of what it was it just so happened that instagram worked out for me like another social platform like i didn't expect for that to happen i was actually doing freelance social media marketing and trying to like not be the center of attention anymore i wanted to hide i wanted to focus on me and not feel like i had to like talk to people and tell people about my life i really was like trying to just like do video editing for people or create social media strategies for them you know just do that kind of stuff i didn't want to be like the face anymore i was really tired of it because it was really bad for my mental health then instagram started going really good so then it gave me the opportunity to like take a step back and think about like what's going on with youtube oh also all of my sponsors dropped me <laughs> Literally, I had contracts for the end of the year and they all dropped me. I assume it's because I started posting weed content on Instagram, but um, regardless of that, all my sponsors dropped me. So then it was like, damn, like, okay, now what? So that was discouraging because, you know, that was like my income so then i just felt confused i felt like it was time for me to take a break i felt like i've been burnt out from making videos for so long oh my god when i was like 19 i was posting a video monday through friday every single week like me working so much at such a young age was probably very detrimental i can't even say that word detrimental to my development <laughs> But nevertheless, like I did enjoy it during the time and I learned a lot and I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't do what I did as a younger being. But yeah, I had the time to take a break from YouTube and I even would be in therapy talking about YouTube, like telling my therapist, like I don't want to let people down and like I just can't do it. Like I can't keep up. I can't bring myself to film a video. Editing myself would be like torture, seeing every single mistake over and over again and just like doing this first so many years is like not good for your mental health and i remember my therapist literally telling me like your career has shifted and you're really stressed about this thing that was in the past and like you kind of gotta let it go and i was like <gasps> i was like offended i remember when she told me that i was like almost offended because it's like what do you mean this is my baby so then i don't know i just didn't film for a week and then i didn't film for two weeks and then three weeks and then four and then randomly i was like whoa i really want to film youtube videos again <laughs> The way that I'm seeing it is like, look, the brands don't want to sponsor me no more. So I am free to make whatever content I want. So my content is just going to get crazier. <laughs> or it's just gonna be whatever I want it to be, you know? I feel like this passion for like making videos again and I want to make them and I think if I didn't take a break I would never have this like passion again back. I feel like the same as I felt when I was younger where it was like, oh I want to make a video because like this is an interesting video or this is fun. Hi Noki. <laughs> Like, I used to always do hair videos because they were literally just fun. Like, they were just fun. Ow. Why would you do that to me? Long story short, I needed to take a break from YouTube in order to find passion again. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna post one video a week, but what I'm gonna say is that I finally, finally, finally have like strong ass passion for YouTube videos. I don't even care if the video makes no money. I wanna make content for the sake of making content and creating 
things that are in my mind and make it a reality, okay? I'm here to make fun videos. I'm here to talk about fashion. I still want to do that. But I also want to get faded AF and do funny things and like maybe, I don't know, do like ASMR. Or maybe I want to build a Lego set while I'm faded AF. Like the possibilities are endless here, okay? My life is changing really fast. That's why I want to do a life update. Oh my god, I'm like talking so much because like... I missed you guys. I'm happy that we got to catch up. I will do a life update next video. I think I'm gonna do like my updated makeup routine while answering your questions. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I cannot believe my hair is short and I just like literally cut it like a crazy person in the middle of the night. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and supporting me. There will be more of me on here, I promise. I'm not giving you a schedule though because I won't stick to it. I'm gonna create out of passion, not out of time constraints. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye!